Okay, I started the recording by accident. Okay, sorry about the two seconds of delay there. Anyways, hello everybody and welcome back. We are jumping in again. And do you know what? I'm just going to start playing on mouse and keyboard for a little bit and see how I go. Let's play as the pilot here. I just, I played as it last episode and it wasn't half bad. And all of the modders get angry at me for playing with controller. Um, I don't know why I selected pilot there and it freaked the hell out. But anyways, I'm just going to do it. And we're going to see if we can get some good runs going. Last run was a bit of a travesty, I'll be honest. We had a really unfortunate soft log that was just unfortunately caused by a bug. Um, and then I recreated the run with console commands and died due to uh, Never Named Bean just being a fiend. Um, he, he has created some horrible things in this game. <laughs> no, for the most part, 99% of the things he's done are amazing. But the curse is... They've always been in a bit of a weird spot. They need some tweaks, definitely. But they're not priority. Excuse me, door. What do you think you're doing? My bathroom door just, like, swung open. Do you want to... Do you want to back off? Anyways. Yeah, let's just see how we go here. Let's just see how we go. I don't know why that guy's on fire straight away. What happened to you? Oh, is he a champion? Okay. I was very confused for a hot second there. I'm like, what? how come you're on fire? He's definitely a champion. And a Roboros one. The big nuke boy. We still need to get our Roboros level up. It's been at level 8 for a really long time now. Um, so hopefully we can improve it at some point. But yeah, I've never had a problem with playing on PC. Like, there's obviously plenty of games that I play on uh, PC controls. Uh, that I, I, and I, like, I play a lot of FPS games, so my aim isn't a problem or anything like that. It's always just been personal preference, because like I said, when I very first started playing this game, uh, I played it on PS4, um, and so I just got so used to playing with a controller, and I, I, I'll just, like, in my opinion, this game just feels more arcadey to me than something like Isaac, which makes, um, playing with controller just feel nicer, but, yeah, I had a good time using the, um, using the mouse item, the clicker, um, with the PC controls, so why not? Can you not shoot through the bullets these guys fire? Something I didn't know. But anyways, yeah, obviously we're going to have to deal with the fact that we've got, um... Not great, uh... We're going to have to deal with the fact that we've got not great... Uh, like, damage right now, but it is what it is. We do, of course, have the lockpick as this character, which is rather nice. I don't really care if you destroy the barrel. I'm not planning on going down there at the moment anyways. I think my biggest problem with playing on PC controls is dodging is a little harder for me because normally I have the, uh, dude, it just swung open again, one second. Okay, it turns out a window was open in another room, which was, like, basically creating an airflow through the goddamn house that was coming through my open door into the slightly ajar bathroom door and swinging it open. So I've now fully shut the bathroom door and closed said window. So hopefully that sorted things out. We will see, though. We will see. But yeah, the biggest problem for me is I just I, I don't find dodge rolling as easy on control uh, on PC controls, even though it's not hard. I just I find it easier on controller as well. I'm just more used to it, just just because you've got that 360 degree of movement with the analog stick, whereas this you've kind of you've not really got that as much. You set to your eight directions, which is kind of the same for controller. It just feels better on uh, for. Yeah, for control. It, it just feels better on controller for me. Like I said, I'm just more used to it. Wasn't really anything in the shop that super caught my eye. Um, nothing there that I really wanted. All good on that guy. Okay, we've got two shotgunny boys here. Shouldn't be a problem. You kaboom. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get a decent weapon for the boss here, just because fighting the boss with this thing is always a bit tragic. Uh, we did um, pick up a heart there, didn't we? Yeah. I'm going to just grab that real quick before I forget. This thing's not bad. Um, the up and up. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is like, based on the amount of D tier things you have, it does more damage or something along those lines. It's something like that. I can't remember the exacts. Oh, bugger. Kind of caught myself up in a bad situation there. Grab myself one curse. 
nice having those champions be able to grab a bit of curse early on. I think it's quite useful. I need to have my aim way more central on the enemies. So I'm kind of missing a lot of my shots. Also, another thing about controller, you have aim assist, which means that you don't have to focus much on aiming. You, mo you mainly focus on dodging, which I'm sure some people will think, well, that's just cheating, isn't it? But boo you. Right. First chest coming up in a second. Well, no, it's, it's the second chest we've seen, but the first chest I'll be willing to open. The other one was a brown chest. I don't care for brown chests. This room's getting a little bit claustrophobic. God damn this pistol. It's so bad. We got these fire buddies that are uh, a nuisance as well. I see you. Come on, come on fire. There you go. That'll aid us nicely. And we've got this guy that's always trapped in this little section here. Right, here we go. Good stuff. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Um, I am going to use the lockpick on this, which I can't remember the button for the lockpick. I just opened it. Clip on ammo pouch. Can't remember what that does. Yeah, I just ended up opening it. I couldn't remember what it was to use my active, even though it's obviously space bar. Don't know why I thought it'd be anything other than space bar. Increases the ammo capacity of the held gun by 50%. Clips on easy and doesn't leave a mark. What's the what's the gimmick? Oh, it's an active item, I see. Um How do I switch actives? <laughs> there you go. That, for a D tier, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, for a D tier, I'm very, very happy with that. I don't know if it did anything else, but... Pretty good stuff. I suppose that only affecting one gun is the downside, but... Still, like, on some guns, it's really good. On a gun like this, it's really goddamn good. Right, nice and easy kill there with the Vulcan Cannon. Gotta love it. A little bit of HP there for us. Um, and then quickly check out the shop. Grab the key. Grab the sack of pickups as well. I don't actually know what that gave me, I'll be honest. Um, secret rooms. Secret rooms. What, what's this gun I've got as well here? Is this the um, the one that's only got 100 rounds? Yeah, it is. Has 100 shots, cannot gain ammo. Yeah, this this just does big damage and can't gain ammo. We'll use the Vulcan Cannon for room clearing in general here. Um, and the other chest room is here. I doubt it'll be in here, but why not check it? And I guess technically we should give this a go. Unfortunately, I did destroy the other water barrel, so... Actually, to be fair, let's go for the let's go for the jungle, because I don't have to piss around with the water barrel for now. I do have to make sure that I don't accidentally destroy everything else, though, which is slightly more tricky. I literally immediately blew up the barrel. So there's the, there goes that dream. Um... Oh, wait, no, I, th I think you can do it with the fires. Right, first of all, move those out of the way. Roll that straight up. There you go, we got it. We got it. I wait for the fire to dissipate real quick. And I'll see if I can get this. Obviously, I don't know if I can, but... Ah. Bugger. I had to take the, the gamble. Why not? Anyways, to the regular floor we go. As this character, I had to take it. I, I did, like I said, I wasn't meant to use my key on the brown chest. I just forgot. But then again, I'm kind of glad that I did because I got this clip on ammo pouch, which I'm pretty happy with, to be honest. Especially if I can get some decent ammo coming in 
uh, on a regular basis to keep my Vulcan cannon uh, nice and topped up. Especially while we've got the cent Century Gun or whatever the hell this thing's called, the 100 ammo gun. That can be our boss killer because I'm pretty sure that's what it's made for, um, for the most part at least. And um, we can just use the Vulcan cannon from for room clearing. It should do a pretty damn good job. Considering it hits boss cap anyways, it's not the best boss killer in the world. I mean, it's fast, but it's like not very ammo efficient in terms of how much ammo this thing has because it just keeps hitting DPS cap. Cool, I'm gonna take some more curse. What I need now, what would be really, really nice is an accuracy increase. An accuracy increase would go a long way for this thing. Because then, I would hit a significant amount more of my shots, which would be lovely. But yeah, look at that, that's just like super, super good damage. In general. Got a mini boss here. Let's check out our shop first. Um, I think I'm just gonna buy the keys for now. We got we can afford both of them right off the bat, which is lovely. I need to start doing the rat a little bit more as well. I haven't done the rat in a little while. Um, so let's let's do this on Nemesis here. I haven't fought Nemesis before, I don't think. He's uh he's me, I think. I mean, luckily we had a weapon that just annihilated him. Unfortunately, though, he gave us pretty terrible rewards overall. How do I do the weapon swap thing again? There it is. Cool. I can hot swap between those two. Cool. Uh, yeah, not great rewards there. Obviously, a bunch of HP. If we get the vampire woman, it's nice, but normally she spawns in the shop rather than elsewhere, so unlikely we'll see her. Little bit of a shame overall. Hey, there's the ammo we're looking for. The good thing is as well that the bigger amount of ammo, bigger max ammo, means that those red ammo boxes give us even more than normal. I don't care about your buff. I don't give a damn. But yeah, this 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 weapon should carry us throughout most of the run here. I say should. We might get something a lot better. Beautiful. So much HP on this floor, god damn. Such a shame we don't have a vampire lady. We'd be absolutely stacked with money right now, but like I said, you never know. It might show up, but I'm just saying it's unlikely. I'm loving the knockback this thing has going for itself as well right now. Just knocking things into pits like nobody's business. Trying to stand as close as I can to enemies to not waste ammo. Now we get ourselves a synergy chest, which with the Vulcan cannon could be lovely, so we'll open that up. And we got Pig, which is a revive. And unfortunately, it is a synergy with the Vulcan cannon. But it is not a synergy that affects the Vulcan cannon. Um, it just makes our Pig into cannon. Um, the little Pig from the end game. And he fires stuff now, and we do have a revive now, so it's, it's nice. It's nice, but it's not ideal. Do you have to go through the mini boss room here? Do I want to pick up another curse? I'll pick up one more curse. We're at three now. Uh, for some reason, my um, my stats aren't showing up. My simple stats. Um, simple. Simple stats. There you go. It's all I want. It's all I care about. Right. So we're at three curse now. I think three curse is basically the max I want to be at um, in terms of picking it up naturally because if I get weapons or items that carry curse, I'd like the option to pick them up and not go over 6.5 or 7, is it? Whatever it is for bosses being jammed. I'd like the option uh, to grab those when I, when I want to. Like, see, why can you float? What was that about? Is he a champion version that can fly? I've not seen that before. Okay, so we've got a bunch of ghosty boys in here. A bunch of regular fellas as well. Wow. Pretty easy room. And what will our next chest be? Ooh, we've got a, a mini game here, which I wouldn't I wasn't expecting. Happy to see it though. We got a bullet modifier chest, hell yes. Now is that shock rounds? Shock rounds is pretty nice with our current setup, especially with the low accuracy. In fact, it might be that we want to keep our low accuracy that we've got going on right now. And, of course, we will play this 
This isn't a, a one that I'm particularly fond of in terms of getting all of the faces. But it's not terrible. Can't remember how you do this last one. It's just like that, isn't it? And then you gotta... Yes, I did it. Hell yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> we just got two miniguns now. So we just, I think, I think we're just going to go like this and go that one and that one and just swap between the miniguns whenever we want to. Although actually for the boss, we probably want to use that right now. Because this thing just schlibbity schlaps and we've only got 100 ammo on it, so we might as well utilize it. Yeah, you see how much damage that did with a single bullet? Ooh, my electricity from my shock rounds joins up with my pig. Which is rather nice. There you go. Oh, I thought I killed her there. Not quite. There you go. We got her. Right, two more armor there. We've got the mahogany as well, which I love, although I'll be honest, I don't think it's going to see the light of day. Um, we've got enough HP here. Let's pop down here. Excuse me, why? I thought... Is this not favorite guns? Oh, bugger. How, how do you... Oh, wait. No, I, I see how it works now. I just got a click. Okay, I see. I, I, it's cool. It's cool. I got it. I got it. Um, so we've got patience. I think I'm going to take all seeing. All seeing is pretty useful. I'm going to get out of here. Right. To the next floor. Away we go. So I think we're going to use the robot's left hand for general room clearing. And then Vulcan Cannon for bosses. I don't know. We've got we've got options here. We've got options. Vulcan Cannon might be better for room clearing. Because it has a wider spread. Which works better with shock rounds. And it has higher maximum ammo. So maybe I'll just use Vulcan Cannon until it's low on ammo. And then switch to the robot's left hand. Um, or robot's right hand. I can't remember which one's which. I think it's the right hand that's the base. And the left hand that's the item. Like the pickup. This one should be the left hand, right? Let's have a look. Yeah, this one's the left hand. Okay, I'm going to use the Falcon Cannon now, I think. I think it's going to be better for general room clearing. Uh, just because it is ge generally better in damage. But also, I think with shock rounds, it's going to perform better because it's got lower accuracy. Basically, this means that our missed shots now still do something. Ah, that was stupid of me. Okay, we're all good here. Do you know what would be a nice mod? Um, just a, a decent quality of life mod that I haven't seen yet, which I'm not super surprised about, but it would just be nice. Do you know the movement speed outside of combat um, that you can enable? It'd be nice if someone made a mod that just increased the amount of movement speed out of combat that gave. Because it's nice to be a little bit faster, but it, it would be really nice if it was like an extra sort of like 0.5 speed. So it was instead of like 1.2 or whatever it is by base, it's like... Plus it was like 1.7 or something. I don't know. It'd just be nice because movement between rooms is still kind of slow. And it'd be nice to see that sped up. Get out of here, you. Lovely. Oh, we got the bat infestation uh, going on right now. Wondering what that was about. Initiative wand. Um, Semi-automatic. I don't really care for that. I think I'm just going to buy the key. Our shops have been a bit dooky so far. Too great. It looks like we've got a mini boss up here as well, which All Seeing Eye is showing us. Just gotta remember that there's gonna be bats spawning on occasion when we kill enemies here. The bat one, the bat curse, has become way more tolerable recently. Oh wait, that is the normal boss. That's not the. Uh, that's not a mini boss. That's just the regular old boss. We all good? Nope, there's still a magician about. Now we all good. 
So I can't take ammo for this, so I'm just going to take it for that. Oh, that was the wrong goddamn thing. Oh, well. I don't like the way that selection works on um, on PC. It w makes way more sense with controller. So basically, you can scroll to go through all of the uh, available guns, or you can tap control to just go between your favorites. You can hold control to open the wheel. It's just uh, it's a little confusing. I'm sure it won't be with time, but right now, it's wigging me out a little bit. Right. That's the rat room. Yeah, like I said, I really need to go for the, the rat more often. It's been a long time since I've really sort of actively gone for the rat. Oh, we have that thing that shows us... Uh, all, is it all-seeing eye that shows us what's in chests? Anyways, genie lamp, not bad. I don't know why it's only got 80 out of 110 ammo. Couldn't tell you. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Any hoozy. Let's keep it moving. Just about made that roll. It's actually better to stay at a bit of a distance to get let shock rounds do its thing. Oh, that was stupid. I got kind of caught against the wall there. It's even more stupid to hit the goddamn mushroom there. I got hit again. I am a fool. Are we all good? Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh! That was close. No synergy this time. We did get chicken flute, which I love. Chicken flute is very good. As an item in general, I like it. Sad that we didn't get another Vulcan cannon synergy, though. That would have been pretty lovely. Synergy chest galore at the minute, apparently. Alright, we got through here. Just a regular old room. Ooh, we got one of these things, which opens up into multiple things that we can choose. There you go, take an extra blank. Right, so I think what we want to use here is we want to use that, this and then that. Actually, no, this and then that. In case this runs out of ammo, but I don't think it will, though. Unfortunately, this is a boss I'm likely to get hit against. Unfortunately, I also can't skip his boss animation. Don't know why I can't skip them. I'm pressing every button imaginable, and it's like, no. Yeah, see what I mean? I knew this boss was going to hit me. Um, I know that, like, that was a complete fumble. It was just, I, I kind of forgot what I needed to press to roll and just didn't. But this is a boss that I find difficult on controller as well to flawless, so... I was expecting to not not hit it with my uh, PC controls. There you go, he's dead. We've got a little bit of ammo left for this bad boy. we got ourselves this doohickey. What the hell's this thing? Signature weapon of a mad, sad scientist. The its inner workings are complete nonsense to everyone save the creator. Charges up, fire sweat. Charges up to fire swirling charges of plasma. Ooh, okay, that's pretty cool. I'd say I'll give it a go, but it's unlikely considering. The weapons that I have now will carry me through to the end of the game. It, th this is one genuine problem that, that Gungeon has. Modded or vanilla. Is that it's exciting to find a cool, like, gun. Like, cool items are great because they always work with every gun. You can use whatever you want. The problem with cool guns is you find a cool gun, especially some, something like the Vulcan Cannon or like the Gungeon or a few others like that that have like good ammo and good damage, and you basically end up not using a single other gun you pick up for the entire run, which is somewhat problematic. Like, I, I don't really know if there's a good way to solve that, because re realistically the only way to solve that would be to give the player less ammo, but that that that's kind of a shitty way of solving it, realistically. Anyways, I'm going to give this thing a little bit of a go, but I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to use it much. I mean, it does pierce, which is nice. It's pretty goddamn good, to be honest. 
Don't know why I opted to roll over that gap that I had absolutely no business rolling over. And it charges really fast, yeah. So it's good damage, charges fast. Overall, I like it. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, this room is a pretty evil room. I didn't, I didn't like that. Anyways, let, let me go back to my weapons that are actually much better. It's a shame, because I, li I like the idea of that, but the weapons I have right now are just amazing. Um, why are all my weapons starting with not much ammo? Is that what the clip-on ammo bag did? Did it make it so that all my other weapons start with less ammo or something? Ooh! This could be really good with shock bullets. I need to stop getting hit. Yeah, with shock bullets, this is pretty cool. Just auto fires from all these portals. I keep thinking my goddamn pig is uh, an ammo box. He is very much not, sadly. Nice. Oh, we do have a mini boss over here. Let this do its thing. Yeah, the shock bullets are making this great. Look at my little piggy. Okay, shock time. We've got the steam rifle. Crack this open. Uh, what we're going to use for this boss. I guess we'll start off with this and then swap to this. I'm going to fully power him off. Just because I think I can annihilate him. Why did I fire so fast then? What the hell was that about? I'm going to take a lot of damage here, but I don't think I'm going to die. And the thing is about this guy, um, he drops a ton of stuff. Like, an insane amount of stuff. Okay, this is a bit overwhelming. I'll be honest, I don't really know what's going on right now. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There you go, we got him. Whew. Well, he gave me a black chest. That's pretty nice. Um, I'm not quite sure what, what this gun of a thousand sins. I'm intrigued. Right, let's see what the gun of a thousand sins does, shall we? This sidearm was once carried by an accursed sorcerer who put countless innocents to death in order to secure his grab at penultimate power. No idea. That's not the right gun. It fires like little demons. Intriguing. Right, we'll swap between these two. Let me just quickly go over and see what this room's doing over here. I don't know if I want to be using some regular enemies or not. Oh, it's a boss killing thing. Okay, so it leaves behind puddles, which I assume do damage. Oh god, it's throwing one back at me. The puddles don't do anything to me. Oh god, my chicken. They def the puddles definitely do damage, because my chicken did not like that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be good against bosses then. Maybe it bot breaks boss DPS cap.
Hmm. And it's piercing as well, which is nice. It's hurting my pig. Hmm, I'm intrigued. It seems reasonably powerful. But for, for only 220 ammo and it being S tier, it must be that the blood is really strong or it like does crazy damage to bosses or something like that. It seems pretty good though. Pretty damn good indeed. I'm enjoying using it. Puddle could do to be a little bit bigger if it deals damage to enemies though, because um, it's not hitting many of them at the minute. Ah, oh, bugger. We've got Link, or Lonk, whatever his name is. we also got another secret room here, which is... Ah, I was hoping it would be the fucking... Dangerous to go alone, take this. We've got the rocket pistol, which is kind of nice. Sure thing. We've got quite a, an interesting array of weaponry right now. It's a shame that, like I said, we've got a few weapons that are just dominating the field right now. Oh, we've got red electricity here. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Yeah, this is like a baby Yari launcher. It's cute. This with piercing and shock rounds would be insanely good. Right, we got ourselves some sort of coupon devil's discount. We gained some damage out of that. A contract with an otherworldly evil force. This contract allows you to purchase anything you want at a price. I'm gonna guess it just means I can buy for curse. Like, I can, I can buy without having money at the cost of curse. But yeah, I also gained 30% damage for a, a brief moment there. I don't know where it's gone. Right, so. First of all, we, we are going to grab this, and then we're going to grab this. I'm going to check these two out. Okay, so boss damage on it is pretty good. Oh, God. I'm... This is a boss that I'm not very good at on um, keyboard and mouse. This one on, on, on control I have down. I know the exact timings and everything, but... But yeah, this, this, thing, this thing just melts bosses, so... Clearly it's, it's either breaking DPS cap or just doing extra damage to bosses. It's good stuff. I'll take some ammo for it. Little, little snipper rifle here. Nothing in the shop that interested us, was there? There was this thing, the steam rifle, but I don't think we need to take that right now. We don't need any more keys either, so let's just hop on down. It's been a mighty good run. A mighty good run indeed. But yeah, it's been it's been really nice in the UK today, so I've um I've just been outside like all day. <laughs> like I went out for lunch at like twelve and then just didn't end up getting back until like half past three. Um I went on the I went to the park and played on the swings for a bit. Because like all the kids have gone back to school now. Like the, the holidays are over. The kids uh this the park is free. And I was like, Do you know what? I don't care if I'm a twenty six year old male. <laughs> I am gonna go and play on the swings. And I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it myself. Right, uh, so what we're going to use here. Let's keep that. Um, I want to play around with this thing again. This thing was fun. I don't, like, I wonder what the optimal amount of ammo to, like, to use per room is. Probably like 10. There's a key beggar here who I doubt we'll need, but I'll try and kill anyways. There you go, we got him. Okay, I fucked up my, my arrangement again here. 
Oh, bugger, that, that ruined everything. We've got a shrine room next to us here. Hello. Shrine, uh, God of Plenty. Okay, first of all, let me pick a gun that I want more ammo for, just in case that's what it does. Oh, okay. Not what I expected, but pretty down for. The armor was nice, I guess. HP, just in case. Yeah, this was shock bullets. is so cool. Just create tethers everywhere. I like it. Alright. Let this guy do his own thing. Hey, look at my chicken buddy go. My chicken buddy's triggering all those uh, thingies, the, all those turrets. That's pretty funny. Right, I think we're good to go now. Let the room just play out on its own. It's good that they last so long as well, because they last like into the second wave. There you go. Like I said, piercing would make everything so good right now, but it's a rarity. Oh, we got ourselves this thing, and we have a synergy with it as well. Big Shot, Hyperlink Blocked. Interesting. Let's see if we can find out what that does, but the wiki might not say. Once more into the breach. Gungeon. Duh, 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 duh. Um, guns. Synergies. And then what the hell's the gun called? It was called Hyperlink Blocked, wasn't it? Hyper... Hyperlink Blocked. Okay. Bullets fired by the Big Shot have a 35% chance to have the Hungry Bullets effect. Intriguing. Press F1 for hell. Low, low price. Okay, it's kind of interesting. I'm still liking the, uh, the the setup we've got going with this, though. Okay, so this thing we do not want to touch. This is the thing that soft locked us last time. There was an update to the mod. I believe it's fixed. In fact, one second, one second. Okay, this is going to be a gamble because they said it should be fixed now. So I'm going to try it wherever it was. Over here. They, they said it should be fixed now, so let's give it a go. If it's not fixed, big sad. Kneel. I don't know what this is, so I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay. Hey! Okay, cool. This is new. Oh. The, the prisoner. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, so a lot of undodgeable shots here. Whoa, there's some mad effects going on right now. Basically, I'm using this gun, because if I use this gun, I don't have to think. Like, the shots are just going to hit. Okay, the room's getting a lot smaller by the looks of it. Should I have not- should I not be shooting right now? Feels like I shouldn't be shooting right now. Yeah, I wasted a lot of ammo during that phase. Oh, this is cool as shit, this. Oh my god, this is awesome. Right, let me change weapon real quick. Let me use this bad boy. Okay, I got this phase again, I think. 
Ooh, or a similar face, not quite the same. Oh, god damn. I love all the fucking chicken feathers everywhere. This is hilarious. Actually, I've just realized I can use the chicken to block these shots. <laughs> okay, things are getting a little tighter now. <laughs> I'm just using the chicken to block all these shots. Hell yes. <laughs> the chicken cheese. Okay, back to this again. Oh, there's a lot less space this time. These are undodgeable shots as well, these blue ones. Okay, I think we got him. Well, that was a really fucking cool fight. It's been way too long since I've been able to see that. Oh god, it's sucking me in. Oh, what the hell? That was one of the most intense things I've ever seen in Gungeon. Just Bunny is just a genius. <laughs> the stuff he can do in this game is nothing short of a miracle. My goodness. So we'll see what- I'm guessing it's just going to plop us back and it's going to give us a reward. We'll see. Oh, wait, no. Not what I expected at all. Uh, for some reason, I can't open my weapon wheel right now. I'm not quite sure why, why that is. I still have all my weapons, okay. Thought it maybe took some away from me. Okay, let's grab the Vulcan cannon here. I'm sure this area is going to be a bit spooky. I did lose quite a lot of health. Um... Back there, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of blue bullets as well, which are the undodgeable kind. There's some ammo in here as well, apparently. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let's go through our weapons. Do you want needs ammo? this thing. There you go. Stick with the Vulcan cannon. I'm gonna go with what's safe. Oh my fucking life. Boom, done. No, there's one more. It's a little hard to see what's an enemy just because of the color palette. But I don't blame Bunny for that because that's just kind of how this is. This is... I, I can't believe I've never seen this before. How long has this been in the mod? Probably been in the mod ages and I've just... Oh, I can't roll through those. You can still blank them though, right? I think. Oh god, that sounded really loud. Currently a bit confused. Oh, there's some regular enemies there, I see. We've got a lot of blanks, let's make sure to use them. Ooh, there's like a little portal hole into another floor there. Ah, so then it summons enemies from that floor, I see, I see. I'm getting it now, I'm getting it. Coming together for me now. What the fuck? I I'm confused. Do I kill these things or not? What the hell? Oh my god. This is so stressful. I have to figure out what everything does, but at the same time making sure I don't die.
Need some ammo again, game. Okay, all good there. It's also difficult to know what a lot of these enemies do at the minute, which is certainly making things harder. Right, let me waste the rest of this ammo so I know it's empty. Use this thing. Ah, let's use the right hand for now, actually. Left hand even, sorry. Okay. This is a bit much. Uh, this is a bit much. Okay, I'm probably going to die based on the fact that I have no idea what's going on most of the time. Why can't I shoot? There's like a thing there's there's a there's a thing on the floor not letting me shoot, but I can't fucking see it. Seems a bit rude. Where's the like shop or HP or anything? Please. Close the vessel. See, I've got more rooms to clear, but at the same time, I'm going to die if I don't do this. You feel enormous energy. I'm gonna close the vessel and see what happens. Oh fuck's sake. This wasn't this, this this wasn't the exit. I thought this was the exit. I'm basically dead here, aren't I? I can't see anything. Where are the enemies that I'm shooting at here? Everything's so dark. My goodness. Is this not over yet? Come on now. There's another enemy inside the portal that I can't see. Okay, it's over and oh my god we got HP. Okay, I'm kind of glad I did that now, right. <sighs> right. Why why can't I open my weapon wheel? What's what's that about? I want to open my weapon wheel and it won't let me. Um What do I use now? I guess I use this thing for a bit. I I was like, okay, that's going to be the exit to this level. <laughs> that's going to be this over. No, no, no. I'm sure there's a boss that I also have to fight at the end of this which is going to ruin my life. One second. Right, sorry about that. Okay, let's continue on here and see how we go. Uh, what were we doing in this room again? I forget. Okay, that's an enemy. Just kind of hard to know what's enemies and what's not right now. There needs to be a, I think there needs to be like a slight maybe red outline or white outline around the enemies in this area. Because the blue on blue is a little bit hard to distinguish. Chickens, are you good? Yeah, my, my, my chickens got it, don't worry. My chickens did it for me. I love the fact that my chicken blocks shots as well, that's so useful. Okay, so we got another one of these vessel things here. Let's, I'm guessing the idea is we've got to close out all of these vessels. But let's, um, let's try and clear out some more rooms first. I'm going to try and save some ammo on my more useful weaponry. Unfortunately, all these shots are just hitting the, the spire thing in the middle and not actually hitting this guy at all. Which I'm not happy about at all. 
Extra blank. Oh, there you go. Vulcan Cannon, thank you. You are back in business. Keep using this thing for a little bit, though. Doing a decent enough job. Okay, so that's probably the exit slash boss. <laughs> Looking at it. That's probably the exit slash boss. Unfortunately, there's no teleporters in here, which is also a little bit annoying, but not to worry. This, this is the sort of reason why I want the extra movement speed boost for moving around rooms. It'd be nice. Ooh, I love that noise. Gnarly. I love this little effect that, that happens. It's crazy. Ah, bugger. Pretty bad hit there, but not too terrible. My HP's still okay. You all good here? Yep. So what we got going on here? This... Offer your held gun to it. A small control port between worlds. You feel like you should toss something in it. Okay. Let's pick a gun that I like but don't love. Um... Big shot. Oh, there's... I can offer more. Paul has room for one more gun. Oh, is this going to, like, merge them together, maybe? The portal has closed and no more weapons can be deposited. Hmm. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Now I've got to trek all the way back. Gonna be a long, long while. Anyways, um, let's use this thing for for the first bit. Just because I'm thinking the pools of blood on the ground will help in the small rooms. We're dealing good damage while we're in this little small thingy here. I don't know if it's required that I do this. Or these are just for extra loot. But I'd managed to do the first one with less HP, so surely I can do another, right? Right? <laughs> Said very, very unconfidently. He said the only problem with them is just that the, the darkness of it is all a bit much. There's another enemy in here somewhere, but I'm not sure where. There it was. Okay, that one was way easier. Look this little saw blade launcher thingy. Right, let's get the Vulcan Cannon out, because we've probably got another boss to fight here, haven't we? I'm interested to see what that weapon thing ends up doing. I gave it what I'd say two pretty decent weapons, so... Right. I'm get, this this is either going to be a boss fight or going to take us back to the um, dragon floor, whatever you call it. Back to the forge. I think it's going to just take us back to the forge based on the fact there's a loading screen here. But you never know with Bunny. You never know. This couldn't have been a warped version of Bullet Hell or something crazy. Or a warped version of the dragon. I have no idea. But I'm expecting we'll end up going back to the forge here. And that's just like an alternate floor we can Okay, no, it skips. It fully skips the thingy. Oh, it's broken our movement again, though. Although, I was made aware recently of a command I can use that will give us our control back. Um, right. E even if we have to end the run here, I'm pretty happy with how this has gone. Right, you might hear my voice for a hot second here when I, uh... 
There you go, that's me. And then... What up? There's me again. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, expand debug fix player input. Expand debug fix player input. That did not do anything, sadly. Heck. But, all in all, that was pretty awesome. I'm happy to end the run here, because I was oming and ahhing on doing bullet hell anyways. My time has paused as well, though. Look, that's weird. Strange. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. I'll speak to Bunny about this, and this will get cleaned up pretty quickly. I mean, look at how quickly he patched the other bug, so I'm sure he'll be able to pick, fix this up reasonably quickly. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.